Opuntia, Wikipedia article audio. Many, see text. Description. Distribution. Chalice. Growth. Taxonomy. Selected species. Formerly in Opuntia. Ecology. As food. Nutrition. Regional food uses. Phytochemicals and folk medicine. Other uses. In dye production. For earthen walls. For water treatment. For animal fodder. In culture. Bibliography. And see text. Opuntia is a genus in the cactus family, Cactaceae. The most common culinary species is the Indian fig Opuntia. Most culinary uses of the term prickly pear refer to this species. Prickly pears are also known as tuna, sabra, nopal from the Nahuatl word npali for the pads, or nosal, from the Nahuatl word nchtli for the fruit, or paddle cactus. The genus is named for the ancient Greek city of Opus, where, according to Theophrastus, an edible plant grew which could be propagated by rooting its leaves. Prickly pears typically grow with flat, rounded cladodes armed with two kinds of spines, large, smooth, fixed spines and small, hair-like prickles called glochids, that easily penetrate skin and detach from the plant. The flowers are typically large, axillary, solitary, bisexual, and epiparaginous, with a perianth consisting of distinct, spirally arranged tepals and a hypanthium. The stamens are numerous and in spiral or whorled clusters, and the genoesium has numerous inferior ovaries per carpal. Placentation is parietal, and the fruit is a berry with aral late seeds. Prickly pear species can vary greatly in habit, most are shrubs, but some, such as Opuntia echios of the Galapagos, are trees. Like most true cactus species, prickly pears are native only to the Americas, but they have been introduced to other parts of the globe. Prickly pears originated during the Pliocene in the Chaco and Monte regions of Chile, then spread to one eastern South America, two the central Andean valleys of western South America, three the Caribbean region of northern South America, four Central America, Mexico, and Caribbean islands, five the North American deserts of the southwest, and six the North American southeast. Prickly pear species are found in abundance in Mexico, especially in the central and western regions, and in the Caribbean islands. In the United States, prickly pears are native to many areas of the arid western United States, including the lower elevations of the Rocky Mountains, where species such as Opuntia fiacantha and Opuntia poliacantha become dominant, and to the desert southwest, where several types are endemic. Prickly pear cactus is also native to sandy coastal beach scrub environments of the east coast from Florida to southern Connecticut. Opuntia species are the most cold tolerant of the lowland cacti, extending into western and southern Canada, one subspecies, O. fragilis var. Fragilis, has been found growing along the Beaton River in central British Columbia southwest of Cecil Lake at 56 degrees 17 and latitude and 120 degrees 39 W longitude. Prickly pears also produce a fruit, commonly eaten in Mexico and in the Mediterranean region, known as tuna, it also is used to make aguas frescas. The fruit can be red, wine red, green, or yellow-orange. In the Galapagos Islands, Six different species are found, O. echios, 
O Galapagia, O Haleri, O Insularis, O Saxicola, and O Megasperma. These species are divided into 14 different varieties, most of these are confined to one or a few islands. For this reason, they have been described as an excellent example of adaptive radiation. On the whole, islands with tall, trunk varieties have giant tortoises, and islands lacking tortoises have low or prostrate forms of opuntia. Prickly pears are a prime source of food for the common giant tortoises in the Galapagos Islands so they are important in the food web. Charles Darwin was the first to note that these cacti have thigmatactic anthers, when the anthers are touched, they curl over, depositing their pollen. This movement can be seen by gently poking the anthers of an open opuntia flower. The same trait has evolved convergently in other cacti. Chalus, now recognized to belong to the distinct genus Cylindropuntia, are distinguished by having cylindrical, rather than flattened, stem segments with large barbed spines. The stem joints of several species, notably the jumping cholia, are very brittle on young stems, readily breaking off when the barbed spines stick to clothing or animal fur as a method of vegetative reproduction. The barbed spines can remain embedded in the skin, causing discomfort and sometimes injury. When Carl Linnaeus published Species Plant Arum in 1753 the starting point for modern botanical nomenclature he placed all the species of cactus known to him in one genus, cactus. In 1754, the Scottish botanist Philip Miller divided cacti into several genera, including Opuntia. He distinguished the genus largely on the form of its flowers and fruits. Opuntia hybridizes readily between species. This can make classification difficult, yielding a reticulate phylogeny where different species come together in hybridization. Also, not all species listed here may actually belong in this genus, meaning that Opuntia is not a monophyletic group. Opuntia also has a tendency for polyploidy. The ancestral diploid state was 2n equals 22, but many species are hexaploid or octoploid. The first introduction of prickly pears into Australia is ascribed to Governor Philip and the earliest colonists in 1788. Brought from Brazil to Sydney, prickly pear grew in Sydney. New South Wales, where they were rediscovered in a farmer's garden in 1839. They appear to have spread from New South Wales and caused great ecological damage in the eastern states. They are also found in the Mediterranean region of northern Africa, especially in Tunisia, where they grow all over the countryside, and in parts of southern Europe, especially Spain where they grown in the east, southeast, and south of the country, and also in Malta, where they grow all over the islands. They can be found in enormous numbers in parts of South Africa, where they were introduced from South America. Opuntia spreads into large clonal colonies, which contributes to its being considered a noxious weed in some places. Prickly pears were originally imported into Australia in the 18th century for gardens, and were later used as a natural agricultural fencing and in an attempt to establish a cochineal dye industry. They quickly became a widespread invasive weed, eventually converting 101,000 square miles of farming land into an impenetrable green jungle of prickly pear, in places 20 feet high. Scores of farmers were driven off their land by what they called the Green Hell, their abandoned homes were crushed under the cactus growth, which advanced at a rate of 1 million acres per year. In 1919, 
the Australian federal government established the Commonwealth Prickly Pear Board to coordinate efforts with state governments to eradicate the weed. Early attempts at mechanical removal and poisonous chemicals failed, so in a last resort, biological control was attempted. The moth Cactoblastus cactorum, from South America, whose larvae eat prickly pear, was introduced in 1925 and rapidly reduced the cactus population. The son of the noted entomologist Frederick Parkhurst Dodd, Alan Dodd, was a leading official in combating the prickly pear menace. A memorial hall in Chinchilla commemorates the moth. See also prickly pears in Australia. The same moth introduced accidentally further north of its native range into southern North America, is causing serious damage to some native species in that area. Other animals that eat Opuntia include the prickly pear island snail and Cyclura rock iguanas. The fruit are relished by many arid land animals, chiefly birds, which thus help distribute the seeds. Opuntia pathogens include the sac fungus Colitotrichum cockatees and Salmon's Opuntia virus. The ant Crematogaster opuntii and the spider Theridion opuntia are named because of their association with prickly pear cacti. In a 100 gram portion, opuntia provides 41 calories, and is composed of 88% water, 10% carbohydrates, and negligible fat and protein. It has low content of essential nutrients as assessed by the percentage of daily value, with only vitamin C and the dietary mineral, magnesium, having significant content. It contains no other micronutrients in significant quantities. The fruit of prickly pears commonly called cactus fruit, cactus fig, Indian fig, nopalas, or tuna in Spanish, is edible, although it must be peeled carefully to remove the small spines on the outer skin before consumption. If the outer layer is not properly removed, glochids can be ingested, causing discomfort of the throat, lips, and tongue, as the small spines are easily lodged in the skin. Native Americans, like the Tequesta, would roll the fruit around in a suitable medium to sand off the glochids. Alternatively, rotating the fruit in the flame of a campfire or torch has been used to remove the glochids. Today, parthenocarpic cultivars are also available. In Mexico, prickly pears are often used to make appetizers, soups, and salads through entrees vegetable dishes, and breads to desserts, beverages, candy, jelly, or drinks. The young stem segments, usually called nopalas, are also edible in most species of opuntia. They are commonly used in Mexican cuisine in dishes such as huevos con nopalas, or tacos de nopalas. Nopalas are also an important ingredient in new Mexican cuisine. Opuntia ficus indica has been introduced to Europe, and flourishes in areas with a suitable climate, such as the south of France and southern Italy, in Sicily they are referred to as Fici di India or Ficurania. In Sardinia they are called Figamorisca, Moorish figs. They can be found also in the Struma River in Bulgaria, in southern Portugal and Madeira, in Andalusia, Spain. In Greece, it grows in such places as the Peloponnese region, Ionian Islands, or Crete, and its figs are known as Frangosica or Pavlosica, depending on the region. In Albania, they are called Fikdidi translated as sea figs, and are present in the southwest shore. The figs are also grown in Cyprus, where they are known as Papoutsosica or Babutsa. The prickly pear also grows widely on the islands of Malta, where it is enjoyed by the Maltese as a typical summer fruit, as well as being used to make the popular liqueur known as Bajtra.
The prickly pear is so commonly found in the Maltese islands, it is often used as a dividing wall between many of Malta's characteristic terraced fields in place of the usual rubble walls. The prickly pear was introduced to Eritrea during the period of Italian colonization between 1890 and 1940. It is locally known there as Belles and is abundant during the late summer and early autumn. The Belles from the Holy Monastery of Dibrabizan is said to be particularly sweet and juicy. In Libya, it is a popular summer fruit and called by the locals Hindi, which literally means Indian. In Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and other parts of the Middle East, Prickly pears of the yellow and orange varieties are grown by the side of farms, beside railway tracks and other otherwise non-cultivable land. It is sold in summer by street vendors, and is considered a refreshing fruit for that season. Tungi is the local st. Helnian name for cactus pears. The plants were originally brought to the island by the colonial ivory traders from East Africa in the 1850s. Tungi cactus now grows wild in the dry coastal regions of the island. Three principal cultivars of Tungi grow on the island, the English with yellow fruit, the Madeira with large red fruit, and the small, Firm spiny red. Tungi also gives its name to a local spirit distilled at the St. Helena Distillery at Alarm Forest, the most remote distillery in the world, made entirely from the Opuntia cactus. Opuntia contains a range of phytochemicals in variable quantities, such as polyphenols, dietary minerals, and beta lanes. Identified compounds under basic research include gallic acid, vanillic acid, and catechins, as examples. The Sicilian prickly pear contains betalain, betanin, and indicaxanthin, with highest levels in their fruits. In Mexican folk medicine, its pulp and juice are considered treatments for wounds and inflammation of the digestive and urinary tracts. Dactylopius coccus is a scale insect from which cochineal dye is derived. D. coccus itself is native to tropical and subtropical South America and Mexico. This insect, a primarily sessil parasite, lives on cacti from the genus Opuntia, feeding on moisture and nutrients in the cactus sap. The insect produces carminic acid which deters predation by other insects. The carminic acid can be extracted from the insect's body and eggs to make the red dye. Cochineal is used primarily as a red food coloring and for cosmetics. The cochineal dye was used by the Aztec and Maya peoples of Central and North America. Produced almost exclusively in Oaxaca, Mexico, by indigenous producers, Cochineal became Mexico's second most valued export after silver. The dye stuff was consumed throughout Europe, and was so highly valued, its price was regularly quoted on the London and Amsterdam commodity exchanges. Now, the highest production of cochineal is by Peru, the Canary Islands, and Chile. Current health concerns over artificial food additives have renewed the popularity of cochineal dyes, and the increased demand is making cultivation of the insect an attractive opportunity in other regions, such as in Mexico, where cochineal production had declined again owing to the numerous natural enemies of the scale insect. Apart from cochineal, the red dye betanin can be extracted from some Opuntia plants themselves. Fluid extracted from Opuntia pads and stems, especially O. ficus indica, is one of the most commonly used additives in earthen plaster. The flesh of the cactus has been found to purify water. A project at the University of South Florida is investigating its potential for low cost large-scale water purification. 
Cactus is also an excellent fodder crop for animals and are very useful to grow under arid and dryland regions. In some parts of India they are being promoted as fodder crops. The coat of arms of Mexico depicts a Mexican golden eagle, perched upon an Opuntia cactus, holding a rattlesnake. According to the official history of Mexico, the coat of arms is inspired by an Aztec legend regarding the founding of Tenochtitlan. The Aztecs, then a nomadic tribe, were wandering throughout Mexico in search of a divine sign to indicate the precise spot upon which they were to build their capital. Their god Hutzilopochtli had commanded them to find an eagle devouring a snake, perched atop a cactus that grew on a rock submerged in a lake. After 200 years of wandering, they found the promised sign on a small island in the swampy Lake Texcoco. There they founded their new capital, Tenochtitlan. The cactus, full of fruits, is the symbol for the island of Tenochtitlan. The 1975-1988 version of the coat of arms of Malta also featured a prickly pear, along with a traditional dgatsa, a shovel and pitchfork, and the rising sun. In Arabic, the cactus is called ubr. The related term sabr also translates to patience or tenacity. The cactus fig is called sabar in Hebrew. This cactus is also the origin of the term sabra used to describe a Jew born in Israel. The allusion is to a thorny, spiky skin on the outside, but a soft, sweet interior, suggesting, though the Israeli sabras are rough on the outside, they are sweet and sensitive once one gets to know them. The prickly pear cactus has been used for centuries both as a food source and a natural fence that keeps in livestock and marks the boundaries of family lands. They are resilient and often grow back following removal. The cactus lends its name to a song by British jazz-slash-classical group Portico Quartet. The song My Rival on the album Gaucho by the American jazz pop group Steely Dan begins with the words, The wind was driving in my face slash the smell of prickly pear. In the fall of 1961, Cuba had its troops plant an eight-mile barrier of Opuntia cactus along the northeastern section of the 28-kilometer fence surrounding the Guantanamo Bay naval base to stop Cubans from escaping Cuba to take refuge in the United States. This was dubbed the Cactus Curtain, an allusion to Europe's Iron Curtain and the Bamboo Curtain in East Asia.